everyone, this is People in Power and I'm Summer El Shahab. On today's programme, water or gold? El oro no vamos a comer. Los niños, los adultos, los ancianos no van a comer el oro, señores. Van a tomar el agua. Like many South American countries, Ecuador has long been an exporter of raw materials, from agricultural produce such as cocoa and bananas to oil, which alone accounts for more than half of its annual earnings. Now, its socialist president, Rafael Correa, believes much additional revenue could be gained by aggressively exploiting other natural resources, particularly gold and other precious metals with which Ecuador is endowed. But many of his countrymen think the cost of this glittering prize could be far too high. Farmers, indigenous groups and environmentalists are campaigning furiously against large-scale mining projects and provisions in a new water law backed by Correa's government. They say the changes will open up pristine rural areas to extraction, pollute critical water supplies and deny local communities control over precious resources. As Bob Aber's house reports, Ecuador may soon have to choose between economic growth or environmental protection. High in southern Ecuador, between the peaks of the Andes Mountains and the upper forest line, lies a unique wetland ecosystem called Kimsacocha. The clouds that pass through give rise to rivers that have provided water to people and communities down below for centuries. Today, Kimsacocha is threatened by the discovery of gold. Canadian mining companies hold concessions for about 55,000 hectares in the area. For Carlos Perez and others of indigenous heritage, Kimsacocha is not only their ancestral territory, but a sacred place belonging to Pachamama, Mother Nature. Head of an association of community water systems, Perez went to Kimsacocha in May with hundreds of supporters to protest a plan to mine at a site controlled by the Canadian company I Am Gold. I Am Gold wants to construct an underground mine here to tap a kilometer and a half mineral deposit containing two million ounces of gold. Paris says the mine would reduce the flow of water to communities downriver and contaminate it, with acid drainage that arises when rock with minerals is broken up and exposed to oxygen and water. From the proposed mine site, the protesters hiked to the hallowed area of Three Lakes, where they held a Pampa Mesa, a communal lunch. Atlantico a través del Gran Amazonas. So this is like a natural sponge that collects the water from the clouds. Una buena parte de la concesión minera de Ayangol tiene esponjas de agua, tiene mantos acuíferos que permite el nacimiento de aguas. Sin esto que genera agua, no habría nada de agricultura, ni habría las vaquitas, ni la ganadería, ni la leche. The water from Kimsacocha nourishes a thriving dairy industry in the villages of Victoria del Portete and Tarqui, where Rosa Munoz lives. So you really fear that you won't be able to make a living if they do mining up there? Indigenous and campesino communities who depend on Kimsa culture for water have been fighting since 2004 to keep mining out. And they say when Socialist President Rafael Correa campaigned here, he promised there wouldn't be any mining near the headwaters of rivers they depend on for dairy farming, agriculture, and everyday life. But now they're locked in a battle over two very different visions of development and the country's future. In 2009, President Correa fought hard to get a new mining law passed that would allow large-scale mining in Ecuador for the first time. Con tanta vegetación, 
biodiversidad. ¿Acaso no será más inmoral dejar esos recursos tan necesarios para nuestro desarrollo, para nuestra educación, para nuestra salud? La minería no necesariamente es indispensable para el desarrollo ecuatoriano. Alberto Acosta was president of the Constituent Assembly that wrote Ecuador's new 2008 constitution. Before that, he served as Correa's first minister of mines and petroleum. Ecuador has been a cacaoter, a bananero, a floricultor, a camaronero, a petrolero. Do we now that the problems will be resolved by being a mining country? I think not, because we will maintain our submission in the international market. International. Acosta argues that the new 2009 mining law is a threat to Ecuador's Magna Carta. Que en la Constitución se establece una priorización. El agua en primer lugar es para consumo del ser humano. El agua en segundo lugar es para la agricultura, todo lo que tiene que ver con la soberanía alimentaria. La ley de minería se da demasiada prioridad a la actividad minera, lo cual puede poner en riesgo, por ejemplo, la soberanía alimentaria. Eso no es constitucional. Acosta believes the mining law is also in conflict with pioneering provisions of the country's constitution, which protect nature and its life cycles. Así como hay derechos humanos, hay derechos de la naturaleza para todos los seres vivos, no exclusivamente para los seres humanos. Se van a explotar estos recursos minerales en zonas de altísima biodiversidad. Vamos a poner en riesgo la biodiversidad y la vida de las comunidades. The risk also has indigenous leaders in Ecuador's Amazon region up in arms. Está ya en otros estudios el licenciado Pepe Luis Acacho. Él es presidente de la Federación Shuar, en la cual donde vamos a entablar un diálogo sobre la minería y sobre los recursos hídricos, presidente. The Shuar's ancestral territory includes an area renowned for its biodiversity, the region around the Cordillera del Condor, the Andean Ridge between Ecuador and Peru. Los Shuar no solamente luchamos por nuestra vida humana, sino también defendemos la vida animal, la vida vegetal que están en nuestros territorios. Copper and gold deposits in the Cordillera del Condor region could be worth tens of billions of dollars, but the Shuar want their ancestral territory declared an ecological zone in which all extractive industries would be banned. Ahí están nuestros remedios, ahí está nuestra comida, y lo que es más, ahí está nuestro dios Arutam en nuestras cascadas sagradas. Por eso es lo que luchamos y por eso lo resistimos y, y no lo vamos a permitir de que las máquinas, las máquinas... Mining requires massive amounts of water. 8,000 liters are needed to extract one ounce of gold. The Shuar's conflict with the government came to a head last September when the National Assembly began debate over a new water law that the Shuar say would allow mining companies to exploit water resources in their territory. To stop it, they blockaded a bridge and became involved in a tense standoff with the police. But in cambio, the police was armed with escudos anti-balas, all that. Juan Chumpi, a secondary school teacher, was there. The police started to promote this situation of attack, and we started to defend ourselves with stones. We went there and went there, and when there was a friend who told me that they were shooting, and I saw that they were shooting, and I didn't get a gun. His friend Bosco Wissam, however, did get shot. I saw that my friend took his head and fell, and I realized that he was dead, because he was President Correa accused the protesters themselves of shooting Wissam accidentally, but the Shuar say it is part of a cover-up. Did any of the Shuar have guns? Todos portaban lanza y los que no estábamos con lanza teníamos piedras en mano. Todos los protestantes saben de que la fuerza pública uno de ellos lo mató. An investigation into the death continues. But the government took a step back after the confrontation and agreed to talks about the water law with the Ecuadorian Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities. Carlos Perez's organization works closely with them. Este es uno de los aproximadamente 35 sistemas comunitarios de agua. Este es de riego que viene precisamente de Kim Sacocha. Este nos dio un ejemplo nuestros abuelos. What concerns you about the water law the government's proposed? No permite liberar las fuentes de agua de la minería. Nosotros proponemos que, que se escriba un artículo que diga prohíbase actividad extractivista en fuentes de agua como garantía del agua para la presente y futura generación. The indigenous and campesino population is 87% of water users in Ecuador, but has access to only 13% of the nation's water. 
What would the water law do in terms of the control that community water systems have? Esa es otra amenaza más del gobierno que pretende controlar, concentrar todo el poder en el gobierno para a su vez controlar, supervigilar a lo que estamos haciendo los sistemas comunitarios de agua. Nosotros queremos que el agua sea controlado en forma colectiva. The government wants a single water authority in which the director of the National Water Agency, Sinagua, would have the deciding vote. In February, the sharp differences with indigenous groups over water and mining led to a breakdown in talks. Indigenous leaders and citizens took to the streets in Cuenca, a provincial capital near Quimsicocha. Un respeto a la naturaleza, un respeto al agua, un respeto a la vida. El marco legal que regula la actividad minera es muy riguroso y frente al uso del agua es muy estricto. Luis Bustamante es el vice minister en charge of mining for the Correa government's Ministry of Non-Renewable Resources. En nuestro país contamos con un nuevo marco legal, sí, orientado particularmente al desarrollo de la actividad minera, pero esta actividad minera debe de enmarcarse en el cumplimiento de parámetros legales, técnicos, sociales, ambientales, ¿sí? muy estrictos. Indigenous and campesino communities are vehemently opposed to the IAM Gold project. Why even consider going forward with a project like that? Se está trabajando frente a que eh, las comunidades no se vean afectadas. Yo creo que eh, las actividades mineras realizadas en cumplimiento de la normativa tanto eh, legal como ambiental realmente se la puede realizar de cualquier en cualquier sector. Squaw leaders would like their ancestral territory declared an ecological zone with no mining allowed. Y tanto el tema de la conservación como el tema de la actividad minera tiene que pueden ser compatibles. Y de todo ese ámbito nosotros estamos trabajando de tal manera que eh, por un lado se pueda aprovechar los recursos eh, minerales que se encuentran en la zona, pero por otro lado también conservar sí fuertemente eh, esa biodiversidad existente en la cordillera. Del Pacífico. The government's flagship project for so-called responsible mining is in the Cordillera del Condor. Mirador, a proposed open-pit copper and gold mine, would be one of the largest in Latin America and generate billions of dollars in revenue. A strategic project of the Correa government, Mirador is owned by Equicoriente, a subsidiary of a Canadian company recently purchased by a Chinese state-owned enterprise. El Tajo iría casi por la, el talú del cerro ese alto. Entonces pasaría así mismo por la loma, al otro lado de este filo. How many rivers are there in the area? Ríos grandes son el Guaguayme, el Rio Kimi y acá el Zamora. Y hay drenajes muy pequeños, ¿no? Mirador is currently in the advanced exploration phase. The production plan calls for an open pit a kilometer wide. Millions of tons of excavated rock will be deposited in nearby ravines. And at the bottom, close to a river, there will be a tailings pond containing liquefied waste from a plant that will process the minerals into a valuable concentrate. Vamos a recircular el agua en la relavera y en el sitio de tratamiento. Entonces no va a haber descargas al ambiente ni a los esteros ni ríos. Fabian Silva is the senior environmental coordinator for the project. The region has one of the highest rainfalls in the world, but he wasn't worried. Sabemos qué cantidad de agua debemos manejarla y cuál es el proceso que vamos a hacer. The plan is to allow the pit to fill up with water after the mining is done, no? Una mínima parte en el fondo, porque esto va a tener una profundidad más o menos de 300 metros. Silva took us to a botanical garden near the mine site. Las especies que están en la mina son rescatadas y se las conserva aquí para tratar de reproducirlas y después devolverlas al sitio una vez que se haga el cierre de mina. This is an area that is very sensitive, very complex, and it would be very difficult to control any contamination from having significant impacts. James Kuypers is an engineer who worked in the mining industry for 15 years. Now he consults for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, local governments, and Native American tribes. He lives in Butte, Montana, a U.S. city with a long mining history. In the last almost 30 years, we've learned a lot about what we can and can't do from an environmental mitigation standpoint. 
Kuipers has worked for years on the environmental problems of a closed open pit copper mine in Butte. It's about twice as wide and deep as the one proposed for Mirador. We asked Kuipers to review technical reports the companies prepared for the Kim Sokocha and Mirador projects. They're both mining in sulfide ore deposits, which caused my first concerns. A sulfide ore deposit, when exposed to oxygen, water, and bacteria, will form acid. That acid will leach metals, such as copper, lead, zinc, other metals that are deleterious to the environment or could affect human health. Kuiper says the potential for water contamination at Mirador is great, given the proximity of waterways to the mine site and the high rainfall in the area. The impacts can be enormous, and a good example is here in Butte, Montana with the Berkeley pit. You see an open pit after mining that's filled with highly contaminated acid water. And with all that precipitation, the ability of that contaminated water in the pit to leach out or leak out into the environment is very high and it could end up that we're going to need to treat that water forever in order to keep it from contaminating the surrounding environment. How much money do you think should be put aside for that? In the U.S. and elsewhere, the suggestion would be probably several hundred million in the case of Mirador. What do you think of IM Gold's Kim Sokocha project? We're going to need to remove the water from the mine site and essentially dry things up. In doing so, it's very probable that that effect of drying the mine will extend beyond the mine confines and potentially end up drying up wetlands, streams, and even surrounding lakes. People I spoke to up there are concerned that this project can affect both the quantity and the quality of the water. Is that a valid concern? That's an absolutely valid concern. The idea that we have modern regulations to mine technology. anywhere um, and that we have evidence of that just doesn't, doesn't exist. My suggestion to the corporate board of directors, if you will, is let's go find a better project for us to put into production rather than start with these very high-risk projects. I am Gold declined our request for an interview, but Leonardo Elizalde, a vice president at Equacoriente, agreed to talk about Mirador. Cualquier cosa puede sonar como un risky project. Cuando usted hace un carro puede mencionar el problema de que se pueda chocar, de que se desinflen las llantas. Todos son riesgos, pero son controlados. Es exactamente para qué sirve la técnica. Scientists I've spoken to say that it's an extremely difficult area to prevent environmental contamination. Yo pienso que hay exageraciones ahí. Existen posiciones, eh, llamémoslas ideológicas, casi ecoteístas que podrían contradecir cualquier cosa que podamos decir. El agua que vamos a, a sacar va a un solo punto y tiene que salir bajo las normas de claridad y pureza extremas. Y así va a ser. How much money has been put aside for closing the mine and dealing with any environmental issues that may arise? No recuerdo la cifra, pero estoy seguro de esto. Toda la que sea necesaria. You don't know how much has been allocated for closing the mine? No recuerdo. Lo he visto, pero no recuerdo. What do you say to those who say the project shouldn't go forward? that water is more precious than copper or gold. Todos necesitamos en el mundo. Tenemos necesidades muy urgentes. Para eso necesitamos recursos. La Constitución dice que el país no puede ganar menos del 50% de los ingresos y beneficios que tenga el sector. Pero no es necesario para atender las necesidades de las poblaciones indígenas o específicamente los Shuar. Ha de ser necesario para saciar necesidades de gobierno de otras regiones que han saqueado los recursos minerales, donde existe contaminación, donde no ha habido atención de salud, educación, vialidad. En realidad no deberíamos hablar todavía de socialismo en América Latina, en los países como Ecuador, como Venezuela, como Bolivia, de casi todos los países de América Latina, lo que están es volviendo a ser productores y exportadores de recursos naturales, aprovechándose de una coyuntura internacional en la cual estos precios, los precios de estos recursos naturales, se incrementaron. Dejemos de exportar petróleo e importar derivados de petróleo que son muy costosos. Ahí nos podemos ahorrar varios miles de millones de dólares. Y hagamos una profunda reforma tributaria para obtener los recursos necesarios para educación, para salud, para vivienda. Una cosa es tener mucha riqueza financiera, otra cosa es hablar de desarrollo, de desarrollo con democracia, de desarrollo en el cual no haya ninguna discriminación étnica. Hoy hemos venido a la asamblea para que se incorpore ciertos puntos de, que estamos planteando como pueblos y nacionalidades en la ley de aguas. 
In May, protesters surrounded the National Assembly building in Quito as legislators moved towards a final vote on the water law. Las provocaciones a veces de las expresiones políticas de los grupos indígenas han hecho más difícil este tema. Fernando Cordero is the president of the National Assembly and a member of President Correa's party. Indigenous leaders feel that their recommendations and demands in regard to the new water law haven't been taken seriously. En eso estoy parcialmente de acuerdo, porque creo que quien tenía que recoger las observaciones se quedó corto en hacerlas. They want an intercultural and plurinational council to have responsibility for the national water system. What's wrong with that in your view? No han logrado explicarnos porque son contradicciones sobre cosas en las que estamos de acuerdo. Si es que hay errores todavía en la redacción, pues eso se, eso se arregla muy fácilmente. Indigenous and campesino leaders want a ban on mining in the headwaters of rivers. Why not include that in the new water law? Realmente parece que no han leído la ley. Expresamente la ley dice que están prohibidas las explotaciones mineras, y lo dice no solamente la ley del agua, lo dice también la ley de minería, están prohibidas. Nosotros en el primer informe hemos planteado que no se puedan dar concesiones mineras en al menos 2.500 metros alrededor de la, de, desde las zonas de recarga hídrica. Esto ha sido borrado y vemos que hay retroceso en algunos aspectos. Jerónimo Yantelema of the indigenous party Pachacutic is part of the assembly committee negotiating the water law. Queremos que los, las vías democráticas puedan operar y lleguemos a algún acuerdo, pero sin embargo, con todo lo que ha ocurrido durante estos prácticamente que ya van a ser nueve meses de tratamiento de la ley de aguas, de no ver resultados concretos, realmente no tenemos mucha esperanza. While crowds gathered in Quito, Carlos Perez and his supporters blockaded the roads near Cuenca. Nosotros ni siquiera pedimos tantas propuestas, sino una sola, que liberen las fuentes de agua de las minerías y con eso los pueblos estaremos tranquilos. Perez and four others were arrested and charged with the serious offense of sabotage of public services. When night fell in Quito, police moved in to disperse the crowd blocking access to the assembly. But the debate over the water law was suspended. Two days later, Perez was released from jail. Que como no agradecerles a ese pueblo unido, a ese puma que se ha despertado. Cuando se despierta, no hay fuerza que lo pueda detenerlo. El pueblo unido jamás se va a The following week, Assembly President Cordero ordered a delay in the vote over the water law until after a process of national consultation with indigenous and campesino groups. Si el gobierno no cambia, la resistencia continuará y los conflictos estarán presentes. Y esto va a afectar también a las mismas empresas transnacionales. Do you think how the battle over water and mining is resolved in Ecuador could affect the evolution of democracy not only here but in other countries in Latin America? Totalmente de acuerdo. Los indígenas con el levantamiento de hace 20 años consiguieron la categoría de sujeto político. Y eso es gracias a una creciente democratización de la sociedad en el Ecuador y en el mundo. Vamos a ir viendo cómo los derechos de la naturaleza van cobrando fuerza en todo el mundo. Y no pasará mucho tiempo cuando tengamos ya una declaración universal de los derechos de la naturaleza. That's it for this edition of People in Power. If you'd like to comment on our report or any other matter, we'd love to hear from you on aljazeera.net forward slash English. Until next time, bye bye.